Hello, once again, my name is Brother McGill. I'm back with another lesson of encouraging words from the Bible. That's the encouraging words from the Bible. Uh, but like I said, before I begin, I'd like to always say thank you for those who grew in, those who believe in saving of their souls. And I pray uh, you stay strong in God's word. Never give up at all on your eternal soul. Remember, bad things gonna happen to you out here in this world, and, and good things will happen to this world, but no matter what, you always stay with God when bad things happen. I also like to say uh, for those in the Ukraine people and those still struggling for a pandemic, I pray that that y'all God comfort y'all. I know y'all going through a lot right now, but sometimes this world is not perfect and, and it's evil and a lot of sin out here. But I pray for y'all that it stay strong. Those who lost loved ones uh, in the war, in the pandemic, to stay strong. Never give up because that's what Satan wants you to do. Uh, before we begin, we'll open up with a word of prayer. We're carrying your word from the Bible. Uh, what did I say? Did I forget? Our Father, who are in heaven, Heavenly Father, we come to you once again, asking you for more prayer, uh, for prayers, dear Lord, to help us to understand more about your words. Yeah. Help us, dear Lord, to keep on fighting for salvation, rightness in your holy name. Never give up on eternal souls. Keep on doing things that are pleasing and acceptable in your sight, no matter what. And we have any things in our minds and hearts today will keep us from learning more about you. Maybe you move that inequity from us. And help us to stay strong, dear Lord, we come to your word. Give us visions, dear Lord, that we need, dear Lord. And have our ears and the dog here to understand what your word is saying to us, dear Lord. Help us understand, dear Lord, this, your word, is eternal life. and here for a reason, so help us to understand that we have to. We have to stay strong in your word and never give up. And by me saying that, dear Lord, I want to say thank you for everything that you do for us, for the roof we put on our heads, that clothes on our back, the shoes on our feet. Mm -hmm. We thank you so much for that, dear Lord, and the food in our stomach. Some people are, are fortunate in things, dear Lord. We pray that you help them in bad times and bless them in good times. We pray for those who have lost loved ones and those who go going through a terrible time right now, dear Lord, in the war and those who lost once again, loved ones through the pandemic, or this lost loved ones, dear Lord. May you comfort their hearts, dear Lord. Help them understand, dear Lord, that one day we all go to die. That's why we got to make sure we plan for our eternal soul. And, and if we don't do that, dear Lord, that all that we do, we live for this world. So help us to understand that, Father God. We thank you once again for everything. So as we go on with this lesson, I pray, Father God, for those who grew in, that they understand, stay, understand what your word is saying to them, dear Lord. Help us all to stay strong, dear Lord, come to your word. I can't uh, say that enough. Help us to stay strong and come to your eternal word. And Father God, we pray all these prayers to you, the most divine, holy, almighty, wonderful name. Thank you for everything. Amen. Amen. <coughs> uh, this lesson is called Encourage Your Word for the Bible once again. Uh, so let's jump right on into it. Second Thessalonians, chapter three, one through sixteen. That is Second Thessalonians, chapter three, one through sixteen. I think it's like a lesson we talked about last month about how to live in this evil world, right? But it's a Second Thessalonians three, one through sixteen. Be not deceived, because there's a lot of people out here or deceiving people. This world had turned. I remember when I was growing up. This world, it world, this world was not this like like it is now. This is the most evil. Like like Jesus Christ said, Book of Matthew, that the love of many shall wax cold. Uh, it's so much selfishness out here. The love is gone, and people are just like they don't care. Do what they want to do, and like they don't believe in God. Like I said, it, it was. I don't remember being like this when I was coming up, but. If you tell you once again, 2 Thessalonians 1 through 16. If you can't see the board, I'm sorry, but have a pen or pencil to write the, the, these uh, scriptures down because this is a very important lesson. So write these scriptures down so you can study it if you can't see the board. But that's 2 Thessalonians 3, 1 through 16. So you know what I'm saying. It's from the Bible. Not what I believe, what, what the Bible says. So write it down. Let's go take my word for it. Write it down and study the word for yourself. Let's get started. At 2 Thessalonians uh, 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 3, 1 to 16. And it reads, Finally, 
Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. Once again, that reads, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. Let me show you real fast what this is saying right here. This, 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 this turn over to 2 Thessalonians, this turn over to pay, the second Thessalonians 2 and 17, that the word of the Lord have free course with you. It says right there, the word of the Lord have free course with you. Look at 2 Thessalonians 2 and 17. And what do we read? I'm sorry, 2 Thessalonians 2 12. I'm sorry, that's uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 12. I'm sorry, that's 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 12. And it reads that the name, basically it's saying the word, that the word, name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of God and the Lord Jesus Christ. That means basically saying that the word of the Lord. That the, uh, the name of the Lord, uh, basically, that the, the word of the Lord Jesus Christ has glorified in you. That the word of the Lord be glorified in you. Because uh, uh, if that's the Lord, it be not this uh, 1 through 12, it tells us that the word of the Lord have free course and be glorifying you. That the word of the Lord be in you. That's how you glorify by the word of the Lord. Because the word was God. You have his son in you, and I'm going to show you that. Once again, study the scripture for yourself. It's right there. It said the name of the Lord. I should say the word of the Lord. He's turned right back over to 112. It said the word of the Lord have free course and be glorified in you. Okay. Go back to uh, 2 Thessalonians and chapter uh, 3. And we just get finally, brother, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. And that you may be delivered from unreasonable men. I'm sorry. And that you may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. All men have not faith. All men do not have faith. I'm sorry. It's right here, 112. I'm looking up here. It's right here, 112. But all men do not have faith. But let I'm not sure what that actually means, but all men do not have faith. Anybody who said they believe in the Lord, who, uh, but I have talked to some people out here. I said, how, well, how do you believe in the Lord? I'm trying to figure out. You try to get on me and now you try to, uh, I want to know because you follow the God. I want to know because hey, you follow the God by his word. I want to learn too more about the Lord and his word. So yeah, too, but I as a person, like I said, it's the Bible trying that spirit. How do you follow, the, uh, how, you, how you believe in the Lord? How you follow the faith? Uh, I go to church. Uh, sometimes I, I give money. I give money. Sometimes uh, I do what the pastor says. And, uh, hey, I, I, I'm a Christian, <laughs> but not, that's not what the Bible teaches. You know, I, I'm not. Once again, I'm not saying that to go to church. But some people say that because all men do not have faith. And let me show you. Turn to me to First Timothy four, First Timothy chapter four. 1 through 7. That is 1 Timothy chapter 4, 1 through 7. That is 1 Timothy chapter 4, 1 through 7. And it reads, Now the Spirit, who is the Spirit? God is the Spirit. Jesus Christ said God is the Spirit. And back in John uh, chapter 4, we talked to a lady at the well. He said, Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in a later time shall shall be part for what? The faith. All men do not have faith. They can depart from it. Give me heed to seduce his spirits and to teach the doctrine of the devil. Doctrine be teaching other devils. That means if I got God, God in me, I got God in me. If I got devil in me, I got the devil in me. There's a lot of devils running around here who teach the, say they teach the God's word but deceiving people. That's why I say right here, be not deceived. Up here on this board. Verse 2. They speak a lie in hypocrisy, having a conscious seer with a hot eye, forbidden to marry, and commanded to abstain from meats which God had created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. 
For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If thou put a brother in and remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith. So what's the faith? What did they pour from the faith? And what's the faith? The words. The word of faith. That's <laughs> they're gonna pour from the faith. That, that means they ain't gonna teach the word of God. This is a faith right here. They're gonna start teaching the uh, uh, the doctrine of the devil. They're gonna start doing uh, the teaching of the devil, say what they want to say of this world. They're gonna depart from the faith. This is the words of faith. And of good uh, teaching whereunto thou hast attained. Verse 7. But refuse profane and old wise fables and, and exercise uh, thyself rather unto guidance. The words of the faith. I'm not going to, uh, it's another lesson. Hopefully, I'll bring it to you next month, but trust me, the, the Bible tells us in the book of Jude, tells us in the book of Jude that the words, the faith is holy. What's the faith? The word is holy. A God is what? A spirit. I mean, the word, that's the Holy Spirit right there. The faith is holy. That's the word. A God is a spirit. That's what it says to Jews. Jew, book of Jews. I'm going to be to you next uh, month. We'll do, we'll do a lesson. Uh, the uh, 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 faith is holy. A God is a spirit. Jesus Christ said, God is a spirit. That's the Holy Spirit right there. Stay in the word right here. And it dwells, see. It dwells, see. It dwells, see. That's the Holy Spirit right there. And so many times the Bible teaches how we get the Holy Spirit through the Bible. Well, try, but that's another lesson. But to try to help you understand, all men do not have faith. People come out here and tell you anything that they believe in the Lord. Like I said, I tried the Spirit. I asked them, how do you, how do you believe in God? How are you a Christian? You know, like, how are you this? How are you this? You know, like, because if you don't know that ever did, you said something different what the Bible said, that you ain't following God. Why the Bible, the book of John, refer to Joshua the four, said, try the spirits. See, the, see the, if they are God or not. Have many false prophets enter into this world. Uh, a lot of antichrists put it like that. I forgot how it go, but I think the antichrist is, uh, uh, antichrist into this world. So you got to make sure that you are following God by his word. And trust me, if you ain't wavering and you ain't doubting and you stay in the words of faith, I promise you, I promise you, that God has given to a lot, lot of people out here. He'll help you understand. A lot, billions of people out here have gave the true meaning of his word too. And I thank God for what he has done for me. I boast to him once again, not myself. I thank God what he has done for me, helping me go out here and try to help others understand the true meaning of God's word. So stay in God's work and it's the faith. Okay, let's go back to, uh, to uh, any questions with that? Let's go back to, uh, 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 2 Thessalonians 1-16 through 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 1 16 and we have verse 3 for the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil let's look at 2 uh, uh, Thessalonians we write 2 Thessalonians let's look at 2 Thessalonians let me go to verse 17 right here say uh uh, uh Let's start verse 16. Now, O Lord Jesus Christ himself, and God, even our Father, which shall love us and has given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your heart, establish you in every good word and work. So we drop down to uh, uh, chapter 3. It says right there uh, at verse 3, But the Lord faithful who shall establish you and keep you for evil. He keeps you for evil by his word. He stems you in the gospel. He stems you in the faith. It's the same thing. The gospel, the word, of uh, the word is the gospel. And he stems you in that. He stems you so you know. So you can see that evilness come. I say, I think it's saying, I'm also in my first John chapter 5. If you're born of God, if a person born of God, he can, uh, he can see spiritual wickedness. He can see it. Evil. If a person is born of God, he can see that. God establishes you right here and this. 
He stabs you. It's so many, like I said, so many times the Bible says that. He stabs you in a, in a, in a faith. So it's so, so evil coming to where you can fight it off. Like it says in uh, Ephesians, you know, I take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You can fight it off through the, uh, his word. But without his word, you could. But remember, before I, before I knew God and his word, I couldn't fight out evil. But soon I got a guy away and obey, obey, obey the faith. Now I can fight out evil. Yes, you'll still struggle. Yes, it will come your way. But trust me, you can fight it all. Yes, sometimes you make mistakes. Yes, it happens. But still, you get up, you keep on fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and never give up on your eternal soul. I mean, that's what Satan wants you to do. But he's going to establish you in the gospel and keep you from evil. He's going to keep you from evil. Trust me on that. Uh, verse 4. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you that you that ye both do and will do the thing which we command you. Okay. And the Lord directing your hearts into the love of God and to the patience waiting for Christ. <laughs> and the Lord directing your hearts into the love of God and to the patience waiting for Christ. Now I'm going to show you this. This is how he directed your heart to the love of God. Let me show you. This turn with me to back to 2 Timothy. Verse 1, uh, chapter 1, 13. That's 2 Timothy, uh, chapter 1, verse 13. 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 13. This is how he going to direct your heart to the love of God. Okay. It says, Hold fast the form of sound word which thou hast heard of me in faith, and love, which is in Christ Jesus. What's in Christ Jesus? Faith and love. He's going to direct your heart and to uh, Christ Jesus. Faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. How? Who was, what was made, uh, what was made flesh? Jesus Christ was made flesh by what? The Word. That's why I said the Bible, Colossians 3, 16, that's the Word of Christ dwelling in you. And I'll show you another one. Look at Titus. It's turning me to Titus, chapter 3, verse 4. That's Titus, Chapter 3 and verse 4. That's Titus chapter 3 and verse 4. It's right, this right past Timothy. The next, the next book. And Paul wrote there. And Paul wrote most of the, you know, in the Bible, uh, New Testament. But Paul wrote this. Uh, Timothy 3 and 4. Uh, second, I'm sorry. I'm going to get the wrong thing. Mm. It says, uh, let's start at verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving devil lust, and pleasure, living in malice, and envy, hateful, and hating one another. But after the kindness, and what? The love of God. What? The love of God, our Savior, toward man appear. We gotta make sure God direct your heart into the love of God. And what's that? His son. His son is the word. The word, uh, Gospel John, uh, chapter 1 through 14. The word was made flesh. That's his son. Watch, let the, then watch, clock 360 said, let the word of Christ just dwell in you. Dwell in you. Dwell in you. Dwell in you. you know what? He teaches you the word. You got that? If you got the word of Christ dwelling in you, because like I said here, all people, the Bible teaches all people who have faith. We, we just read that. And all people do not. Hell, the spirit in them. The word of the spirit is like the Bible says that. I don't say that the Bible does. And I was I'm sure that next week. As well. About the time we talk about the Holy Spirit. I show that as well. I'm not saying that. Everybody have God in them. Everybody don't have the Holy Spirit in them. What's holy? The faith is holy. And God is what is spirit. That's why I call the spirit of truth. In book of John, and, and what's the truth? The word, John 17, 17. And it's holy. And God is the spirit. That's the Holy Spirit right there. And why he dwells in you, he dwells in you, he dwells in you. Please, for your eternal soul, write these scriptures down and study them. This is so important. 
Nothing else out here is, uh, should be more important than your eternal soul. Nothing else. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Let's up. Let's go back to uh, uh, Second Thessalonians, chapter three. And where we at? Uh, where we at? Six. Now we command you, brother, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Basically saying in the word of our Lord Jesus Christ that you, but I'm saying, but what, what, what the Bible says, we study, study the word. You know what? It, see, we study the word, study the certain set of proof of God. You know what it's actually saying. Not not like the word of the Lord. Try, but, but so uh, you understand. Now we command you, brother, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye withdraw yourself from every brother that walketh disorderly and not as tradition. Which he receive, which he receive of us, and like I say, I say it's a lot, but it's the truth. The Bible speaks that. If you know a person is not right, don't keep on hanging with that person. If you know that person not right, you love that brother, you love him, and you love that sister, but you don't hang, keep hanging with people not right because evil rubs off. It can rub off on you. They say, you know, for one, at one time you ain't cursing. You don't know, use profanity. Now you're going to use profanity. <coughs> one time you were tripping out going out party and all this night. Now you're tripping out doing that. At one point in time you were tripping out going out drinking at, at every day. So now you're doing that. One more time you were tripping out doing drugs. Now you're doing that. One more time you were tripping out doing uh, committing adultery. Now you're doing that. Because you're hanging with the wrong people. You were tripping out committing fornication. Like we have a second round being married, now you're doing that because you hang with the wrong people. Evil can rub out. And that's how Satan works. He can use others to get to those who actually follow in God by his word. That's in Revelation. Who keep the commandments of God, he used others to try to get to others. But it tells us right here what the apostle wrote this. Now we command you, brother, to withdraw yourself for everyone. Who walk this order and not a tradition which you have received us. Now look at that. The last one. Look at this. First Thessalonians 1 through uh, uh, uh first Thessalonians chapter 1, 2 through 6. That is first Thessalonians chapter 1, 2 through 6. What they say, uh, uh, traditions you receive from them. Remember that. First Thessalonians, uh, that's what the apostles. First Thessalonians chapter 1, 2 through 6. Thessalonians chapter 1 okay and it reads we give thanks to God always for you all making mission of you in our prayers remember without seasoning season your work of huh, season. season thank you season your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God and our Father Knowing, brother, beloved, your election of God, for our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, as ye know the matter of man we were among you for your sake. Right, sister, listen very closely for those who out here teach the word, uh, who said teach the word of God, for those who actually teach the gospel. Verse 6, and you became followers of us and of the Lord. So you for the follow the apostles. You follow the apostles so you can follow the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the only way you can follow them. It speaks of that all through the Bible. Only way you have fellowship in the gospel. In Philippians, it's by what fellowship with the gospel with them so you can fellowship with the Father and the Son. Once again, the tradition that you receive with them. And ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost. You follow the excuse me, you follow the apostles. So you can follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he gave the commandment to them and not us. They walked with him. But Paul saw the vision. Paul saw the vision of the way to go into Damascus, you know right? And, and Jesus Christ spoke to him. But the son of the apostles, Peter and John, they actually 
walked with him. Matthew and Luke, the Gospels, right? They actually walked with him. So when God uh, had, was crucified, risen, he gave the command. In the book of Acts, it says this, he gave the commandments to uh, uh, to some of the apostles of his choosing. That's what the Bible say. I'm not saying that. So who I should follow? What man say or follow what the apostles say? The apostle doctrine, the teaching of the word of God, like it says in the book of Acts. That's what you're supposed to follow. Not nothing else but the but the word we say, you know, like I have been in some churches before. They come to me with this book, come with this book, come with this book. This is how you know the Lord. Come with this book, come with that book, come with this book. Like I say, if the book of Jay, God give you the understanding of all things. No, you in that study to show yourself approved to God. No, you in that word and the word, stay in that word. God give you understanding through the Holy Ghost of all things. Don't let nobody come to you with any other thing but the word of God. I mean, I remember back in the day, I used to teach, uh, teach be a Bible teacher some churches. And one church, particular church I was at, I ain't gonna say the name, but they did not meet, they like me at all, because I taught strictly from the Bible on Sunday school, uh, Sunday class. I didn't teach for no book. I taught strictly from the Bible. Because this is an apostle doctrine. <coughs> Somebody else wrote something. I don't know what that's about. I follow this right here. Please understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying that wrong with reading a book something like that, but you better make sure you follow in this right here. God, that books can tell you anything. Well, it says in 2 John verse 10. What does it say? 2 John verse 10. Uh, Got it? If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. God speed. So that's what you don't do that. Neither bid him God speed. They'll bring this teacher right here. You know, man. <laughs> so I can say, I'm not just saying this. You don't keep on fooling people like this. They're not teaching this right here, all these different books out here. And they're not bringing this doctrine, this te doctrine means teaching, this teaching, then you don't receive them in your house. And you forbid a farewell. They bring you this to the word of God, yes. And I'm like, I like to learn too. So I learn more about God too. Do I got uh, about the book of Proverbs say iron sharper eyes? I like to know it too. Know more about the Lord too. But if you ain't bringing this, I don't want to hear. Let's go back to Second Thessalonians and, and finish up. Second Thessalonians chapter three. Uh, where we at? Hey, hey, we at eight? Okay. I'll start at seven again. For yourself knew how you ought to follow. For yourself know how you ought to follow us. Follow the through what? Right here, apostle doctrine. The apostle. For we uh, have have not ourselves, for we behave not ourselves disorder among you, excuse me. First eight. Neither did we eat any man's bread for not, but wrought with labor and travel night and day, that we might not be chargeable to any of you. Not not because we have not no uh not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example uh, to you to do what? Follow us. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Make an example to follow them. The apostles. For even, verse 10, for even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Verse 11, for we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, walk, working not at all, but or Busy bodies. There's a lot of people out here in other people's business. All that they care about what's going on and are being other people's business. Want to know your business, they can run and tell your business to somebody else. All people do not have faith. You got to be very careful who you talk to and tell your business to. Because a lot of people, all they want to get your business, so they can run and tell people your business. That's what people. This, like I said, this generation is different. You know, this generation. I mean, probably like, I know the back, like in our time, was like that, but. It's so bad now. It's so bad now. People want to just want to know what you're doing so they can go out and tell others your business. And especially they will try something. You're doing something good. They try to find something negative in there. They go out and tell people your business. See, so watch out for those busybody and watch out who you tell your business to. Trust me. Verse 12. Now, then, that's or such we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ that with quietness. 
they work and eat their own bread. Verse 13, but ye brother be not worried and well doing. Keep on doing it. Never, ever, ever give up on your eternal soul. Never, ever, ever give up your eternal soul. You keep on fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting the good fight of faith. You keep on. Like Paul said in Book of Timothy, he fighting a good fight of faith. You keep on. Verse 14, and if any man obey not all word, that means the gospel, all word, by this epistle letter, note that man and have no company with him that he may be ashamed. Excuse me. No, that person. Don't have no company with him. You don't follow behind everybody here so they believe in God. If they don't obey the word, you don't keep fooling people like that. Yeah, I love my brothers and sisters out here, and I do. It's about to say it in a second. I'm about to show you that. Show you that. What the Bible say, but uh, I love my brothers and sisters out here, but I don't steal. I don't hang around like I used to back in the day with people out here who is not following the Lord. But I love them, though, and I pray for them. Because I know out here, Satan is out here. I was out here stuck in this world. And Satan's out here, he deceiving people. That's why I say, I got rid of that. Be not deceived, be not deceived, be not deceived, be not deceived. Recover your eternal soul, be not deceived. Satan's out here trying his best to uh, get you to follow his way, this world. That's why you, you can't have company. People want to obey the word, the gospel. People see you walking with God and doing the right thing, and people and if you try to talk to them, that's all you can do. Try to talk to them about the gospel. They don't want to hear. Have no company. You still love that brother, but have no company to pray for him. Hopefully, you said something, and one day it might, it might, it might penetrate their heart. Hopefully, but all men do not have faith. They teach something totally different out here. You can make it to have it this way. You can make it to have it this way. You can make it to have it this way. You can make it to have it this way. But James chapter 1, 19 through 25, that James chapter 1, 19 through 25 tells us that the word save our soul. Well, Peter tells us baptism save now save us, that you get uh, baptized and you stay in the word of God because the word of God works with those that believe. That's how you are saved. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. They can tell you to pray to sit and pray. They can say you could. Uh, uh, just give money you say, just come to church you say, I'm not saying I have to go to church, but they just say all these different ways how you say, but not by what the gospel, what the apostles say, how you, the gospel say, the Lord Jesus Christ tell you how you are saved. I, I hear a lot of stuff out here. I'm like, whoa, I just can't believe people follow this negativity stuff. But come to the, uh, doing the work of the Lord, stay in his word, and, and fight, and fight for your eternal soul. It's, it's here for a reason. They don't believe that. A lot of people out here that does. A lot of people don't. They don't. I mean, it's, it's the negativity that you see all the internet and that people follow this negativity. Uh, uh, not teaching the gospel at all. Teach something totally different. Okay. Uh, where are we at? 15. Okay. At verse 15. Yeah, count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. You know, you don't Hate nobody you pray for. That's your brother. You love him. But he's not my enemy. He said, have no company with him. The Bible said, have no company with him. But you pray for that brother. You know, I love him. Don't call him as an enemy. If he didn't want to hear the word of God, okay, fine. I love you, still love you. You're my brother. But I pray for you. That's all I can do. I can't do nothing else. All people don't want to hear the truth of God's word. It's sad, but it's the truth. Verse 16. Now the Lord of God, now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. The Lord be with you all. How the Lord be with me? <laughs> right here. I can show you so many uh, how, I mean, I can show you not, I was not a lesson, but that the grace of God, the grace of his word. The word of his grace be with you. The gospel of grace, let it be with you, right? It tells you that. I offer the Bible that. Let the grace of our Lord be with you. How that? This is the word of his grace. If you study, show yourself approval of God. Stay in the word of God. Stay in the word of God. Grow in his word. You see, because the Bible tells us we need a word to grow. Back in 2 Peter 1 through 3, we need a word to grow. 
So you stay in his, we grow in the holy temple of the Lord. Like I say in the faith, you grow into the holy temple of the Lord by his word. And Jesus Christ said, the word is the spirit and eternal life. It's not hard. But you got to stay strong, stay in God's word, and never give up. And you got to distance yourself away from people who know it's not following God. Because the only thing you're doing, you ain't, you ain't happy, you ain't doing, you ain't happy yourself. Any person who really follow God by his word, they know not to hang with certain people. They know that. You come out high, speaking in your house like this, but when the party starts like this, I'm trying to me to go. Anybody who actually follow God, they know the truth of God's work. They, they watch it out for their eternal soul. It should be, like, this is your church soul. It's precious more than gold or silver. Like I said, Book of Proverbs, it is precious. And you better stay in God's word. More pressure. I think it said that in part, well, I could be in the gospel, but it's more pressure. I remember reading that. It's more pressure to go to sin with your eternal soul. So don't ever give up, my brothers and sisters. I love everyone out there. Man, I, whether I know you or not, I love everybody out there. And next, uh, well, next time I bring in that lesson, I uh, pray that God give me the wisdom to teach about the Holy Spirit. And this is that's the kind of Holy Spirit gives you eternal life. Without the Holy Spirit, you are none of His. Like it says in the book of Romans. Without that Spirit dwelling in you, <laughs> I'm not saying that, but the Bible does. You are none of His come judgment day. So, my brothers and sisters, before I go in prayer, I want to say once again stay strong out there. Never give up on your eternal soul. To be not deceived, like it's, I wrote all down here, be not deceived by men out here teaching in and everything. Your, your, this is your eternal soul, because one day we're going to die. And we got to make sure we're pleased in doing things acceptable, pleasing in God's sight, in His sight. I'm not standing up in like stand up in like I don't have a false. Like I do. I have false too. And what I tell you, I tell I teach what I teach you, I teach myself too. And I'm still trying to grow too. I need prayers too. Stay strong out here. This world is poor evil. It's evil out here. Let's go. Any questions? Let's go a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, once again we come to you, dear Lord. Thank you for so um, so many things that you do for us. And thank you for the lesson, dear Lord, you have me to bring to all those out there who are thirsty and hungry for the truth. And we thank I thank you for that, dear Lord. And I just pray, Father God, this we live in a sinful, evil world that was so corrupted, so so much hatred out here, so much lying and backbiting out here, Father God. It's so evil out here, Father God. So I pray you help us replace evil with good. Help us, dear Lord, to stay strong. Dear Lord, we come to a eternal soul in your word. Never give up. I don't care what happens, dear Lord. Help us to stay strong, dear Lord God. Trust me, it says in the book of James, the trying of, trying of your faith working patience. Help us understand, dear Lord, we got a faith of our hear the word of God. But we got to stay in the word of God. That's Romans uh, chapter 10, verse 17. we got to stay in the faith of the word, dear Lord. So help us understand that. We know, dear Lord, that you know we things out here happen in our lives. And sometimes when it happens, dear Lord, we fall short. We, and, and, we, and sometimes I don't want to get back up and keep fighting, dear Lord. But give us the courage to keep fighting, no matter what goes on. Because Satan's out here, and he's trying his best to deceive us. Each and every day, our eternal soul. He's trying his best. He, and he, and he relentless and he won't give up. So we got to stay strong in your word. It happens to keep on fighting for that salvation right to see your holy name once again. And we also, once again, we pray for the people in Ukraine, people uh, that are still struggling through this pandemic. We pray for them all, Father God. People sick and afflicted, going through terrible things out here. We pray for them all that you help them with bad times, bless them with good times. But have them understand bad things going to happen. You allow a bad thing to happen to your son, so come just and tell us bad things gonna happen to us. But we gotta make sure that we're doing the things that are pleasing us in your sight and we want eternal life. So help us to understand that, dear Lord. Watch over us and protect us and keep us safe the only way that you can, Father God. And we pray all the prayers to you. In your most divine, holy, almighty, wonderful name. Thank you for everything. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters out there, stay strong and never give up on your eternal soul. God bless.